We're joined once again by our Paralympic expert in Sochi, Ryan McKenna. Ryan, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Well, our first question for you on this day is, how did you get into sledge hockey? Uh, as a writer? Yeah, as a writer and just your general interest in sledge hockey. How did that kind of come out? Uh, so it started back uh, over a year ago, uh, whenever uh, we received an email from the Ryerson Journalism Job Board about uh, the Paralympic, International Paralympic Committee looking for writers. And I just sort of took advantage of that and, and figured that it would be a good plateau to uh, have some writing material on the national level. And um, I was fortunate enough to get sledge hockey as my sport. And I, I knew it the best because uh, I, I cover hockey at Ryerson. And I, I used to play so, um, able-bodied hockey. So I figured it would be an easy transition. Well, that's very interesting. And speaking of uh, speaking of the sledge hockey, just talk a little bit about Canada's results. Where are they now in the tournament? So Canada lost last night, uh, Thursday night, uh, 13 mark uh, against the United States in the semifinal game. Um, they were shut out three nothing. Both under Steve Cash for the U.S. made some really really nice saves. Uh, he he was the difference maker. Honestly, uh, Canada had some good chances early in the game. They actually outshot the Americans in the game, but Steve Cash still on his head, and I, I spoke to uh, Billy Bridges, uh, a Canadian forward, after the game, and he just said, you know what, we ran into a hot goaltender, and uh, you know what, that's the way it is sometimes in turn of the play, we ran into a hot goaltender, and that's the, the difference. So now they move on to the bronze medal game. Who are they going to be playing in that game, and can you give us a bit of a preview of what to look out for? Well, it's sort of ironic because I'm writing the preview for tomorrow at, the, at uh, right now, but... Um, they're in the bronze medal game against Norway, and it's going to be an interesting matchup because back in Vancouver 2010, they played Norway for bronze, and Norway scored the winner with like 3.8 seconds remaining in the game. So it'll be an interesting thing, and I know it's not the, the medal that they are hoping for, but uh, uh, I also talked to Greg Westlake, captain uh, on Canada squad, and, and he pretty much just said, you know, we owe it to the fans, the people who are sending us their support from Canada. And are there any Canadian players that have stood out, uh, particularly in a positive way, in the event? Yeah, uh, Adam Dixon and Fadson, uh, as well as Anthony Gale, both around from around the Toronto area. Uh, they've both been very good at this tournament. They're actually both tied for the scoring lead with six points. Um, Dixon has got, he's got the majority of his points in the first couple of games, but He's been uh, he's been a steady presence on the point. He's really impressed me. He's an offensive defenseman that can chip in on the rush when he needs to, but he'll also be that guy in the defensive zone that that'll be there and save a goal from time to time. And are there any uh, teams in the event that have surprised you so far? I think the Russians are, are probably the biggest surprise for me. Um, this is their first Paralympic Winter Games in sledge hockey and. Look at them now. They're in the gold medal game tomorrow against the United States. Um, just their rise in the sport. They they only started playing about five years ago, and they've gone from pretty much started from the bottom, and now they're here. If you want to use the Drake reference, um, but no, they they are. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say a surprise, but they're a pleasant surprise, I guess, if if you will, because literally they started from nothing, and now they're at the world's highest stage and. They have their support. Shive has been absolutely packed every time that they've played, and it's a lot of fun being there. So the gold medal game will be the United States of America versus Team Russia. Who would you give the edge to in that matchup? <laughs> That's a tough one. Um, somebody asked me that question earlier today, and it, it's honestly a couple of different factors that you got to weigh in. The United States, in, in a way, I know they're the defending Paralympic champions, but... In a way, they're sort of an underdog going into Shai's the that is all packed and all fans are cheering for the Russians. Um, but, uh, I mean, we saw in the first game, whenever it was a packed house for uh, Russia against South Korea, that Russia sort of cracked under pressure a little bit. They, they had those nerves that, uh, and they sort of couldn't handle the pressure, I guess, a little bit uh, in front of their home crowd. So, who do I give the advantage to? That's a tough one, but if I had to make a prediction, um, I'd have to say the, the Russians. And we'll get you out of here on this question. 
Uh, if you could summarize your Sochi experience in one or two sentences, give us those one or two lines. <laughs> um, crazy. Uh, how about words? Crazy, uh, language barrier, and, uh, and Tinder. And I won't explain a lot though for you. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, we thank you once again for joining us, and we hope to get you in studio next week when you return to Toronto. But until then, for Ryan McKenna, I'm Alex Chippen. Thanks for watching.